This question here it says the coach of a cricket team buys three bats and six balls for rupees 3900. Later, she buys another bat and three more balls for the same kind for rupees 1300. Represent this situation algebraically and geometrically. Now, if I say a bat is for say x rupees per piece, I'll say bat is x rupees per piece and ball is say y rupees per piece now it says coach buys three bats and six balls three bats plus six balls bat is x rupees per piece and ball is y rupees per piece and total she pays three thousand nine hundred that's my first equation second equation says Later she buys another bat, one more bat, one bat plus three more balls, three balls, x and y, x rupees per piece, y rupees per piece and pays 1300, second equation. Now it is x plus 3y equals to 1300 and this is 3x plus 6y equals to 3900. This can be written as, if I take 3 as common, x plus 2y equals to 3900. So x plus 2y equals to 1300. So x plus 2y is equal to 1300, my first equation. x plus 3y equals to 1300 is my second equation. So that's the algebraic representation let's move into graphic representation for that i need 2y is equal to 1300 minus x so y would be 1300 minus x over 2 and this would be 3y equals to 1300 minus x so y would be 1300 minus x over 3 so now I can represent both these equations into the graph. So I have this equation here, which is x plus 3y is equal to 1300, which gave me y is equal to 1300 minus x over 3. This equation here, x plus 2y is equal to 1300, which gave me y is equal to 1300 minus x over 2. So now let's put both these equations into the graph. Let's take some x values, which will give me y1 and then y2. Let's take some easier values. I start with smaller value 0 and I take 400. This 400 will make my calculation easier. 1300 minus 400 will give me 900 and I can divide 900 by 3 easily. So let's take a similar kind of value. Let's take 700. Let's take 1000. Let's take 1300 also. So this y1 would be, if I replace this x with 0, this would be 1300 over 3. If I replace this x with 400, this would be 900 over 3. So likewise, I have this line here. Let's look into this y2. Replace all these x values here in this x. Okay. So I have these values here for x, which gave me y1 and then y2. And from this table, I have this graph here, which is a little bit funny graph. I can see from this graph, only the only point where y1 and y2 means this and this, they are intersecting is this point here where y is 0, y1 and y2 both are 0 here and x is 1300 which gives me an answer which says ball should be free of cost and bat should be 1300 rupees each. So this was the graphical representation and this one here is the algebraic representation.